As the waging debate on the pay of scientists over art teachers continues, other people in the education sector continue to share their views ever since the president came out publicly to express his interest, increasing the pay of scientists instead of the ones in arts department. Speaking on the matter, Chambogo University Vice Chancellor Professor Elika Tunguka, a scientist himself, has supported the president. All countries that have developed in the world have invested heavily in science and technology. All countries, talk of Japan, talk of America, but you can, a country cannot invest money in training people on religious studies, on history. Yes, you need to know history, right? But should the country focus more on that? And the president was clear. The vice chancellor who was addressing journalists on several issues believes scientists should be given special treatment. The largest industry in the world is the pharmaceutical industry. It's based on science, based on research, based on innovations and development and patents. That's where we are going. Engineering. How much money do you spend on tractors, importing tractors? The professor also says the university is grappling with issues to do with funding science and research, which is crucial. So we discussed this with the parliament. They said they, they have appreciated our problem. At the end of it all, no money. Then we ask, where does the money go? Nobody tells you. They have their priorities. So I have written an appeal to, to, to the authorities that be to advise us how we are going to run these universities without infrastructure. Chambogo University today also announced the Science Summit that will be next month under the theme Demystifying Science, Technology and Innovation for Community Development. So we call it a STEAM festival. Science, Technology, Engineering, Agriculture Festival. So we want to demystify science, mathematics, engineering, so that the ordinary people can understand what science is all about. Professor Erika Tunguka, a professor of veterinary medicine and vice chancellor of Chambogo University, has seen his contract renewed until 2027. The file was compiled by Ramson Muhire for CTV, PM Edition.